I am Anil Kumar and we will try to understand factor theorem with the help of this example. A quadratic function f of x with integral coefficients has the following properties. f of 3 over 2 is 0, x minus 2 is a factor of f of x and f of 4 is equal to 50. Determine the function f of x. Now when we say that f of 3 over 2 is equal to 0. It means the remainder is 0 when we divide by x minus 3 over 2, right? When we divide f of x with x minus 3 over 2, we get 0 remainder. That means we have one of the factors. This factor could be actually written as 2x minus 3. So in our function, we'll use 2x minus 3 as the factor based on f of 3 over 2 equals to 0. Now we are already given another factor as uh, x minus 2. So, so this is the factor because of this property and we are already given a factor x minus 2. So x minus 2 is given to us as a factor. Then we have a point here which is f of 4 equals to 50. Now what does that mean? f of 4 equals to 50 means that there is a point whose x value is 4 and y value is 50, right? So with the help of this point, we can find the quadratic function, right? So that is the information given to us. Now let us begin to put it in place for the equation. Based on this information, we are looking for a quadratic function f of x. Let's write f of x, quadratic function with integral coefficients. We have got two factors already. So we could write this as a times one of the factors is 2x minus 3 times the other factor is x minus 2. To find the value of a, we'll use the given point f of 4 equals to 50. That means 50 is the value of this function when x is 4. So 2 times 4 minus 3 times 4 minus 2, right? So that is a, 8 minus 3 is 5, 4 minus 2 is 2, right? That is equals to 50. So we have 50 equals to 5 times 2 is 10. We can divide this by 10 to get the value of a. So we get the value of a as 5. Got the point, right? Therefore, the function is f of x equals to a is 5 for us. We'll write 5 here and the two factors which are 2x minus 3 times x minus 2. So that is how using factor theorem we can find the equation of the quadratic function, right? I hope that helps you to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.